Good morning and welcome to the GDFL Netball Show. Streaming live from the side of the court today, uh, we have had a f quite a few interesting games. So we'll go through uh, Saturday's finals first and then we'll move on to today, Sunday's finals. Um, in the D-grade final, it was East Geelong 31, defeated Bell Post Hill 15. C grade was North Geelong 39, defeated Inverley 30. Uh, B grade, Bell Post Hill 34, defeated Werribee 33. A nice close game there. It was closer than I thought anyway between those two sides. So, Absolutely. Um, for next week, uh, it's going to be a testing match between uh, Winchelsea and Bell Post Hill there. So that'll be a good one to watch next week come along on Saturday. And in the A grade, uh, Werribee 49, defeated Bell Post Hill 32. And I think we both agree here, Flick, that that was probably... Um, a what, bigger, bigger margin than what we'd originally thought, um, and I thought it would be a lot closer. But it's just a testament to Werribee on the, the quality of their players. So next week, uh, the matchup on the Saturday is Werribee, uh, Werribee versus Winchelsea at the top of the ladder. There, so um, that'll be a good finals game again. There. Yeah, well, I, I know that we've been waiting for that one all season because uh, it didn't the end rematch. up happening. The rematch. Absolutely. The rematch. Um, and I know that later on we're going to be in the show are going to be talking to the coaches about that actual game, the definitely. Werribee Bell Post Hill game. So, um, but yeah, interesting next week, definitely. Yes, that's right. So going through on Sunday's games for next weekend, we've got Winchelsea um, who, uh, hang on, Winchelsea play uh, Bell Post Hill in D grade. And we've got Inverley and East in C grade. Thanks for Birdie across the room there. Um, Werribee and East in B grade and Bellpost and East in A grade. So noticing there that East have kept in all the finals, so congratulations to that. And in a moment we will speak to um, Anthony Burton, Birdie, one of our panel members, uh, to, to go through coaching from, from last week's games and, um, and his strategies for next week to stay in the finals. Yeah, yeah. So the Sunday games from this week in the finals. It was an elimina elimination finals. Yep. So whoever lost in these games was is out for next week. Um, and in D grade, Winchelsea 25, defeated Bannockburn 22. Now this one here was a close game. Um, today's weather was fantastic. It was nice and sunny there. So the girls definitely came out in the court with some different um, than what we've had all, all year round. So Winchelsea, Bannockburn, it was a good game. Very, very close. Absolutely. Uh, C grade East Geelong 39 defeated Bell Post Hill 25. Yeah, a bit more in this one than what I thought. It, most finals you expect to be under 10 goals. So um, congratulations to East for holding such a lead there. I'm sure Birdie will recount us on the match a little <laughs> later. <laughs> Um, and in the B grade, an uh, absolute thriller down to uh, the very last second, I think it was. East Geelong 31 defeated Corio 30. So yeah, a nice close game. This is what finals are about. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, not to mention the A grade game. Uh, East Geelong again, 36 defeated Corio 29. So again, Corio knocked out in the A grade. So no Corio in A or B grade for no. next week. So, no. um, But congratulations to East for holding that together. We will go... Inspector Birdie in a moment, as I said. But today's game um, between Corio and East Geelong, very, very close and, and a lot of turnovers up and down. Quite a scrappy game, um, I thought anyway. But I'm sure Birdie will be saying different a little bit <laughs> later on. <laughs> you know, I think it was his young shooters that uh, probably got him over the line there. They um, work so well up there. But we'll we will have a chat to him about that later. Yep, definitely. So the other games that we've got uh, coming up next week... Um, is win uh, in A grade, Winchelsea versus Werribee. Yes, yep, we were talking about that one before. Yep. And game then the Bell Post Hill versus East Geelong. Definitely. So another close one and tight one there and then we're on to finals the week after. Yep, so we'll wrap it up there and we'll, we'll have a quick chat to, to Birdie and uh, see what his thoughts are. I'm sure he's going to be happy after all wins today. So thank you and we'll see you shortly.